I thought it would be fun to cover some different types of mineralization that can be found in fossil dinosaur bone. I'll use polished specimens as examples since it can be tough to tell from the outside what a fossil will be like inside. This specimen exhibits carbonate mineralization. Calcite and aragonite have filled pore spaces in the bone, but the texture and shape remain. The calcite crystals are lighter and near the center of pore spaces. Aragonite is the darker brown. Calcite and aragonite similar to this also occur in some septarian nodules. This specimen is a piece of fossil dinosaur bone that a septarian nodule formed around. Some specimens with carbonate mineralization are fluorescent. This piece fluoresces under longwave UV light. I used a Convoy C8 filtered longwave light for these photos. Pyritization occurred in a section of this specimen. The pyrite has preserved the spongy texture of the bone, and the dark brown areas near the pyrite are rich in iron oxides. Here is another pyritized example. In this cabochon, bone has been replaced with agate. This is called silicification. The banding in the agate is confined to the pore space of the bone. When backlit, you can see the spongy texture of the bone in three dimensions since the agate has pretty good clarity. Silicified dinosaur bone is often called gem bone and is great for cutting cabochons. This specimen is opaque with red jasper on black. Undercutting is common in gem bone, as most pieces aren't fully agatized, and the softer spongy portions will wear down faster during polishing than the agatized pores. Thanks for watching! If you enjoyed the video, feel free to share it. If you'd like to support my channel, please check out my Etsy store. The specimens from this video are available for sale, and I have many other minerals, gems, and fossils too.